This tutorial covers challenge 5 L in the FTC simulator. If you ever need a refresher on the steps, you can click the green logic board button and at the top, click guide to help yourself navigate. Hello everyone, my name is Tini from Youth Culture and we'll be working with the FTC Sim Movement lesson today. And we also have Costa here who will be working with our first simulator. Hi everyone, as Tini said, my name is Costa and I'll be running through as Tini narrates. Perfect, so first we'll click the green logic board button on the left. And before we select and click any block, it's important to click the zoom button on the right side of the logic board for better viewing. We will first add our reverse block at the beginning under put initialization blocks here, and we can get this from actuators and DC motor. All right, so the next step we were going to do is to have the robot go straight. So to do this, we'll add our first motor block and add it under put run blocks here and set our values for the left and right motor to one and one. Since we want our robot to go straight all the way to the wall, we need to add our sleep block and set the value to 900 milliseconds. So now our objective is to make a right turn. So to do this, we will add a motor block next. And since we're turning right, our left and right motor values will be one and negative one respectively. So this turn itself is quick. So in this case, the sleep block we will add now will only be set to 150 milliseconds. So we can just go to DC motor and dual and grab our next sleep block and set it to 150. So now our objective is to go straight towards the flag. And in this case, we will add our final motor block and set the value to just one and one for both motors. Perfect, so let's run the code to see what happens. Perfect, so we've completed challenge five. So just to add one more important thing, you should click save at the end of your challenge to make sure that your code is saved. Now that Tanish has narrated through this tutorial, here are some points that I've learned. For this challenge, our objective is to make the robot go straight and right towards the flag. One thing I learned is to move the code to the top left corner of the logic board. This is because if the code is too long, moving it to the left of the screen will make it easier to read. I also learned that there is another pattern for the sleep block. The reason why we use different numbers for the sleep block is because it determines how long the movement block works for. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope you learned something today and hope you had a great day. Bye now.